When you're in film production or audio recording, it's always good to go use your playback option. Meaning just listening back at a previous take or a previous recording that you want to make sure went right. And a lot of times when you finish a take, it's like, I didn't really like that one. Let's redo it. But there are circumstances where it's like, can you just listen to it and make sure? And that's what we're going to get into in the Zoom F6 today. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel. I'm Justin and in this video, we're going to be talking about your playback options in the Zoom F6. Very simple concept, very easy thing to do, but there are certain specific bits of information that I want to let you know about it. And I've covered some of these in previous videos, which I'll point out which video it's from. If you've seen it before, I appreciate that if you have, and I will allude to it, but I also will reference that video just in case you didn't see it, in which case you could go to that other video and be informed about other things as well. So the first thing I want to get into is selecting your playback, meaning selecting which take you want to listen to. And I covered this in a previous video. I can't remember which one, but I'll put it up in the corner. And it's very easy. All you gotta do is use the arrow keys on the home page or the place where you see your levels and select it. You see the take number and everything. If you use the circling uh, function, meaning marking your takes to go back to a specific one that you might wanna listen to again, it's check mark and up key. I don't know if you have to do the up key, but I do it and it works. I heard some people that you need to just press the hold, press and hold the check key while selecting that take, but I do it this way. Play around with it if you have it and uh, let me know if you have to press the up key. I don't think you have to, but you might. So basically using those arrow keys to select what you want. You could go into the menu and do it that way, but this is the short way to do it and the easy way to do it essentially. Next thing, your playback time. You could have elapsed time or time remaining. And I covered this in my display settings video. So if you wanna know how to do that and go through the menu and learn about that, you could go to that video and I'll cover that for you. But for the most part, I use time elapsed. I really don't use time remaining because it just, it's what I'm used to. I'm, it doesn't make sense to me to have time remaining. I want to know how much time has happened since I started recording. Makes sense to me. If you're uh, someone who's different and likes to do it the other way, let me know. Now, the next thing I want to get into is how to leave marks on specific takes and how it's used. I was going to do a specific video on this, but it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you how it's done. So to get there, you're going to go to menu system settings then key settings then play key options at this point you need to understand that there are two ways to do it leaving marks while recording and leaving marks while in playback so i'm going to show you both i know it's not the recording video but it's all the same so you're going to go to the recording section if you're going to leave marks while recording and go to either pause only pause and mark or mark only so this basically means that function of using the pause button is either going to just pause just mark or pause and mark then while in playback you have those options as well same exact thing just pause just mark or you do both of them so keep that in mind there's your settings for that and these marks are made for skippable options later. So if you were to skip to a specific part, like if you said, if you like the take, or if you liked a specific part in a take, I should say, because circling takes is an option, but this goes even further into the metadata and goes into the specific time code of the specific wave file. I know I said specific a lot and the sibilance is going crazy probably even though these microphones are pretty good at pick, not picking it up. Now we're gonna go back to actually listening back to these playback options with your takes. And this one specifically is for repeat playback. So to get to this, you're gonna to go to menu, play, then to repeat, which now you have a bunch of options. 
play one, play all, repeat one, or repeat all. Basically, this means play one is a single playback. You're only going to play that one thing and it's going to stop. Play all basically means you're going to play everything, so if you don't stop it, it will continue. Repeat one means you're going to repeat the one that you're listening to and it will loop it, essentially like a loop, like in Premiere Pro, Audition, and all types of DAWs. Then repeat all basically goes through everything and then it starts it over again. So if this is useful to you, let me know and let me know how you would use it and what specific thing you're going to be using it for because I want to learn a little bit more about this and I've tried it out. I know how it works, but what instance will it be good in and what instance can I use it for? If, I, if you guys give me your options and your, your take on this, I'd love to know because maybe I can learn a little bit more and make myself a little more efficient with using this device. So that's all I got for you. That is a bunch of things that have to do with your playback on the Zoom F6. It's a really cool device and the playback in my opinion is not very useful in certain things, meaning that I know that a take is good or I know a take is bad just because I'm monitoring it all the time. If you're a person that doesn't monitor it or if you're just setting it up and letting it go, you monitor at the beginning and then you let it go, maybe this could be useful to you. Actually, to be honest, it could be very useful to you because you gotta make sure that if you might've heard something and you wanna double check it. For me personally, it comes in handy occasionally, but it's not something I am going to. And of course, these are a bunch of things that could help you out. These are a bunch of things that you could keep in the back of your mind and just be like, oh, he said this, he mentioned this or whatever. And you could write it down and just in case it comes up. But for the most part, this is stuff that you need to understand in the moment and understand, is this useful and will I remember it? Or is this useful and... I will always remember it, that kind of thing. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. We greatly appreciate it. Helps this video, helps this channel, and get out to more people. Get out to more people who have the Zoom F6 and want to learn more about it. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything whatsoever, if I missed something about the playback, let me know down in the comments. All I ask is you be nice, just be constructive, all that stuff. This is the number one rule here. And if you want to discuss things further, I, I stream on Mondays till the end of the year, possibly into 2021. Yeah, that's the year. No, 2022 is the two there. The years don't make any sense anymore. But uh, if you want to go into the stream, if you want to join the Discord, everything, just be nice, constructive, and be respectful. You know how that is. And lastly, if you like my vibe around here, please consider subscribing. I do a bunch of... Comparisons for microphones, tech reviews, Zoom F6 stuff, obviously. I have a full playlist and a bunch of shorts as well. So if you want something quick and easy, if you have any suggestions, like I said, down in the comments. And that's all I got for you. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. And the good thing is the new... Ah, oh, oh, he came out of nowhere. Oh my God, it was like David Coverfield. That active camo was bonkers!